Yo, what is going on today, guys? Sam here, back at it again with Isao Jr. to start us off. And let's see. Tell you what, all we got was Freezer Baby. And we're, we're just gonna immediately pop Isao Jr. And, and take the run as is with Flight, which is just gonna be better than Freezer Baby. So that also is a plus two damage up. So we get a plus two damage up and Flight to start us off. A little bit more health too, believe it or not. We're gonna pop our fool card here and yeah, whatever. Think that's worth the money either way. We're gonna get use our fool card too. And hey, flight, some black cards, extra damage, and the intruder to start us off. I think that's kind of the best play that we can make with uh with Esau Jr. And we're just not gonna look back, look to drop it for now. And we're gonna play it all as our better Esau soul, which you know it's it's a cool item. Like it, generally it's you know, if you're having a bad run or something and you find it in the middle of the run, it'll if you flip your this Esau version of you will start will have as many items as you did from the same pool just different items right so if you, if you have like a lot of devil items that aren't that good or some item items that are pretty mediocre because I walked straight in the damage there you just flip as Esau Jr. you might get something better and if you like that run instead you can switch so it gives you the second chance and flight and a small damage up too so if we're gonna start out with it like you know we don't we basically are just starting out with flight and a few other goodies so Hey, we'll take it as we're going to go ahead and buy the Soul Heart because I did take a little too much damage. And we get some extra money back, too. We have this Inverse Tower card, which will spawn in a, a bunch of rocks. They have a pretty... I tell you what, we're going to use it in here and see if... Uh... Okay, we're going to be able to get at least one of these Mark Rocks here. Okay, scratch that. We'll go ahead and make it two. And we're going to get this one because it's closer to the pots, which could give us some more good. So we're going to miss one marked rock. But hey, we get some Soul Heart coverage that we need. And our boss is actually going to be Haunt here. So this will be a tougher one. Luckily, we do have the Intruder to give us this quad shot of slow. And that that little bit of extra damage is going to help us out pretty big. Not to mention the utility of the actual slow itself. So, happy with that. The Intruder, definitely one of the better spider items. A new addition to Repentance. And we got to put in as much damage as we can here. Our fire rate really is bad, so we're really hoping for a tears up here. As there goes the Intruder. Whenever we take damage, it's going to jump out, spawn in some spiders, and attack on its own. So... Really, really good. Look at it go. Yeah, man. It's it, The Intruder is really good. A quality three item for a good reason. It's just going to dumpster Haunt. Down goes Haunt and Pills. Yay, Pills. Please be tears up. Oh, we get a Vert Pill. That, okay, let's see. Speed up. And I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i go ahead and confirm and get like three speed ups because I'll tell you what. We don't know what this next one's going to be. If it's a tears up, whatever. We just take the good stats that we can get and... Luck up, speed pills. down. That's actually great. So I'll tell you what. Hey, the vert pills pay off. We get a bunch of speed ups because of it. And curse of the lost. Okay, well then. Oh, walk right into damage yet again, Sam. Well played. And tears rate's still pretty bad. Damage good, though. Esau Jr. really just kind of saw to that, man. We're very happy with Esau Jr.'s performance. Happy to see it at the start of runs. I think our secret room might be here. There she blows, and we get some more pills. And I'll tell you what, I've got the eating pills. We get a health up. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Friends to the end. Wow, nice. So we get a bunch of hearts there. Thank you, Seeker Room, for bringing me those pills. And the HP up is going to make our devil deal look way better for us. As again, with flight, we're able to get curse rooms for half cost. So, man, I'll tell you what. As soon as we get a tears up, this run is going to get blown wide open. We get the clicker. Don't want to do that. Well, actually, I'll tell you what. That might not be bad with Esau Jr. Because we're never going to want to use Esau Jr. So we basically get a free TP out of places. But honestly, it kind of seems like a no. And I'll tell you what. I will tell you what. I, I think I know the direction that this run is going to go, fellas. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Take a guess. We're either going to go with the Smelter or Crooked Poggy. Both are good. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. As we get a dead end in here. Curse of the Lost being a little annoying, but oh, well. Just need a little bit of money, game. Just a little bit. Will you be so kind? I really don't want to blow up my dono machine, but if I have to, I will. Basically, it's just a giant coin bank after you get all the completion marks. And, well... Metal plate, sure. Soul heart, damage reduction. Oh, boy. All right, let's... Yeah, I know, I know. I know what we're going to have to do here, and I'm down to do it. Okay, I am I am down, down, diggity down. 
And oh baby, here we go. I hope you guys guess properly because... You already know exactly what we're grabbing. Crooked Poggy, baby. 50-50 chance to double everything in the room or delete it all and turn it into one penny. <laughs> so... It can, it can uh, like, make some pretty good plays. I mean, there was one clip of me as t Loss getting, like, 13 champion belts in a row. Like, a one in a thousand odds. And I tweeted it to Edmund McMillan. He thought it was funny. So, here we go. We have a chance to use it in our double deal. And if we get Brimstone, we're definitely going to look. Because we, even if we don't like the double deal, or if we do, I, I've made the decision that I'm going to use it. It's 50-50, man. If we can get double Brimstone, I'll fucking... Mm, 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 mm. That would be... Pretty Pog, Mega Brim, man. It's possible with Crooked Penny on the table. It is 50-50 if we even get Brimstone, though, so we'll see. All right, game. We get a damage up with the Stapler, and... No. Not worth it. Either way, Ocular Rift, not worth my health, and it's only one item, so we end up not getting it there. We're 50-50 on our Angel Double Deal now. We did get one cent, and ooh. Speaking of money, look at all the money in this room. Jeez Louise, man. Don't mind if I do. Still, the stapler's great, but we really needed a tears up more than anything, right? Like, our damage was honestly, like, in decent shape. Now our damage is in good shape, but our fire rate is really bad. So, we're gonna be struggling in the fire rate department here for sure, for at least a little bit. I'm wondering if our secret room is actually gonna end up over this way. Um, I'll come back to that in case I need to charge up Crooked Penny. And I'll tell you what, chat. I got an idea. It's gonna either work out very well or very poorly, but I don't care. Ooh, it worked out well. A bunch of troll bombs on the ground, but hey, we end up getting a bunch of keys because of Crooked Penny. As well as some Soul Hearts, so it ends up working out. Had it been like a guppy item or something, we would have doubled up on it. Because it, it doesn't do, like, the red chests basically already have their items pre-generated the second you see them. So if you dupe them, they're going to have the same thing in the chest. Which argue the, whether or not you think that's good or bad on your own will, right? But either way, it gives us some soul hearts and keys. We'll take it. It's worth the look. The work, the, the look uh, paid out for us. And we'll check our curse room, too. Should we have luck down? I mean, eh. Got some more leeway for a devil deal if we get one, but we really didn't need that, to be honest. I think our secret room's gonna be... It, 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 this next room cuts left. Balls of steel, baby. Balls of it does steel. not. We're gonna get headless baby. <laughs> we get double headless baby. Why not? Two or three conjoined. And that's gonna be a lot... Of, that's double the creep on the ground, which is gonna do a lot of damage, guys. That's actually gonna do quite a bit of damage. So... Crooked Penny gives us our first payout. Two or three can join when it should just be one. And Headless Baby, I think, is really underrated. We get a, greed, we get a little greed room in here. Counterfeit Penny would be appreciated. There's no Counterfeit Penny for us. We get a Temperance Machine. Needs some more money for us. Huh. <laughs> Unfortunately, like, Wood Nickel just really is not useful for us. Like, we just, we don't benefit from it. It's, it's not better than Crooked Penny for us right now, so we're going to go ahead and say no. And all right. Here we go. Big Horn. Up to the plate. And this is where, hopefully, we're going we're gonna to lead our uh, headless babies over him. And they're going to stack on quite a bit of damage. And d double the creep, hopefully, means double the damage. Let's let's lead him over there. I'm willing to take a bit of damage. Look at how much damage he's taking, too. He's taking quite a bit. Is this creep? Going big for us. Do I have time to get the creep on him? I think I do. Just a little bit, though. There's some more. Down he goes. We do end up getting our devil deal. I'm, I guess I want to take this now. Oh, my God, please. Let's go, Mega Brimstone, Crooked Penny! And we get conjoined as well with me conjoined Mega Brimstone, dude. Absolutely, our fire rate is so bad, but Crooked Penny does it for us again. Oh my goodness, you love to see it, man. Crooked freaking Penny.
Showing you what it's worth, baby. We love to see that. We love to see that. Just to make sure that I don't end up corrupting my recording chat. I'm actually going to go back and delete a random Isaac run to make sure we have room in our hard drive for it. Because I would hate to see this run get corrupted. And holy cow. Mega Brimstone, baby. Two or three Leviathan as well. Not that we really benefit from Leviathan at all. Like, I really wish they... Like, Leviathan and Seraphim should come with damage ups. Like, I don't know, man. Because for the most most of the time, like, when you actually get it, like, you already have... I don't think that does anything for us, to be honest. So I'm actually going to use Crooked Penny on that and hopefully eventually turn it into money. Um, like, you know, it's just kind of underwhelming. You know, it's like, damn, I'm Leviathan right now. Like, I should be fucking stacked, right? And it's just like, well, not really. Like, you know, you're not actually stacked. It actually doesn't do that much for you. Like, you get two hearts in flight. It's like, okay, well, can I get a cool devil effect or something? Like, maybe get a fire aura around me, like, or as an angel one, like, occasional holy light spawning in. Like, just some cool shit like that, you know? And, well, I don't don't need the razor blade, really. I don't, that doesn't really help me. I would rather actually not take that as there's the mega brim again with conjoined too. Now, rubber cement. We gotta wait, wait a minute. Wait. Hold on a sec. What are the odds? It's pretty low, right? Nice! We'll be able to get our library and our challenge room. And we actually get the Bible. And I'll tell you what. Nah. Th thank you, Crooked Penny, but we just. We get telepathy for dummies too, which is gonna give us homing. And I'll tell you what, we'll take it. Homing Mega Brimstone with Conjoin, man. I was really hoping for a tears up, I'm not gonna lie, but I'll tell you what, we'll take this either way. And here we go, all three of our brimstones lining up on him. Holy cow. Holy cow. So again, thank you, Crooked Penny. But homing Mega Brimstone, I mean, with Conjoined, I, I can't say no. Not that it matters, we're kind of running through this room. Now, let's see. That's one way to get it done. Take our next eternal heart. Evidently, our shop was down this way, and I missed it. It's probably going to be to the right here. Yep. And there we go. Get a greed fight. Kind of a shame, because I am out of keys, man. We are... Fresh out of keys. Go ahead, take on our boss. 45% chance for our devil deal here. And there we go. There's the tears up that we needed. It's a big one, too. And there's Leviathan. So the pentagram will go ahead and take. And Purgatory. No need for Purgatory. Now look at our fire rate. It's way better. Way better. And we've got ourselves a run here, fellas. We have got ourselves a run. We should be able to make this quick, actually. Believe it or not, as... Telepathy for dummies, too. Going to be able to make a lot of plays, but with flight, all this extra damage that we get, we go ahead and use our homing in here. We are thrilled, let me tell you. And one key, we'll check out our shop, because it's probably this, as we get school bag. Where were you last floor when I needed you most? Um, I don't think we really need Nox Axe, so we're going to get a Balls of Seal pill from our Vert pill. And fortune cookie, which I actually will take because we have school bag now. And that's really good. Another two room, a two charge uh, active item that's actually really good as we get another balls of steel pill. Odds I get magic mush. I'm thinking high. I'm saying high. Apparently not. We will get another health drop pill. Gonna go ahead and pop that and hold on to our balls of steel. Again, we got some more hearts to give away to our devil deal should we need to. The brimstone is getting charged up, and there's a marked raw. Maybe that's Smarok. Well, we do get a key, though. Probably, actually, it's probably worth going to check out that chest, because to be honest, this could have a tears up. And it does! Oh, baby. And now we are in business. Our tears rate with Mega Brim is much, much more in the positive. So I'm really happy about that. And whoo we Miss Dolly. Health looking great, man. Maybe there's a sacrifice room on the floor that we'd be able to hit. Because I'm telling you, we'd definitely be able to get some hits off with all the health we got here. So I got to remember to be using Fortune Cookie. Because it can give us cards. It can give us soul hearts. Give us a lot of goods. The only thing I think we're missing is a little bit, like, our damage is good, but I feel like we could be doing more. Maybe I'm crazy. Still, the sound and look of Mega Brimstone. 
Get another ball to steal pill, dude. I can't. I can't use all these, man. I can't use all these game. It's too, it's too much. It's, unfortunately, no sacrifice room. We're just gonna have to hope to get lucky. And there goes Mega Brimstone. All three homing in. Get another tears up, and that should put us at the cap. Now, now we're at the cap. Like I said, unfortunately, no curse room or stack room to to hit there. Let's go. 72% chance. I'm not sure what else we could get. That'd be good if we get another speed up pill. Don't mind if I do. Get our speed closer and closer to that max. Another fortune cookie there. We're going to go ahead and blow that rock up. Get our fool card. And we'll make it quick. Holy cow. We get a stars card, which will save me a key. The and we get Spelunker Hat, which will give us some mapping, which will help us out. Find our shop up here. As you can see, we can see a couple rooms ahead. We'll also be able to see secret rooms and super secret rooms. And oh boy, we get Inverse the Moon. And we actually create a curse room. Uh, that... Sure, I mean, why not? I mean, I, well, two or three for Mom, it'd just be kind of cool. And we get an upgraded curse room with that. False PhD. Two more. Dude, holy shit. Two more balls of steel pills, too, and Squeezy, which I don't think. I don't think really, to be honest, Squeezy does a whole lot for us at this point. Like, we're kind of. We're kind of fucking stacked anyway. I don't think our tiers rate can go any higher than this. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and go back to our shop and start rolling the dice here. Do I even need a blanket? I mean, we'll buy it. It's a good item. Sharp plug, no. That's actually worth it. We get five cents for Pandora's box here. So we might as well buy it because it's a free five cents, right? Means we can get some more rerolls, etc., etc. Who wouldn't just take five cents, you know? Whole oh, restock could be good. There's Terra Cloth. We'll buy Terra Cloth here at least. It is our last shop. See if we can buy the next item behind it too. And it gives us starter deck, which I actually am absolutely going to take with Terra Cloth. Oh, would like to get Champion Bell too. That's a nice little damage up. But hey, we get an Ace of Diamonds. What's in how much, how much stuff was in here? Not much. Going to use an Ace of Diamonds in this big room down here that we see coming. Hopefully it gives us a ton of money. Moment of truth. Gives us a little bit right. We do find our super secret room here. We're still making great time. And oh man, I'd love a temperance machine, but we'll have to wait and see if we can get lucky and get one. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and take on our boss now. I mean, might as well, right? As we do get our full card. We're gonna grab our full card, TP ourselves back after we get our boss rush item. 77.5% chance for our devil deal. Make sure to use our homing. And we whiff our devil deal, man, at a 77% chance. I mean, I guess we take little Steven. Definitely do not take the dunce there. I mean, maybe we'll get a sacrifice room and be able to head to our angel deal. Get a dice room. Bunch more bombs and some more money. Should we actually go buy champion bomb if we want to? <laughs> nope, definitely not. Definitely no thank you. We do not want to reroll our passes, especially with double mega brimstone, man. No way. No way, Jose. Here's our temperance machine, baby. Now we're talking. Now we're talking champion belt. Come to Papa. So we'll be able to buy champion belt. One last gift from our restock on our way out. And if it looks, our next item looks really good, then we can go get more hearts. 
more balls of steel pills to go spam a little room here. Let's see, champion belt. I'm gonna pay to play. We're done. With that, we're done. And I'll tell you what, actually, believe it or not, we're not gonna take telepathy for dummies. We're actually gonna take fortune cookie. It's a good heart generator. And it also will give us cards. And to be honest, I met like the homing mega brim has not been doing that much for us. Like all three aren't locking on as far as I thought. And to be, I think we got a good shot to get some more homing somewhere else. So I'm actually not that upset with this. Maybe we'll get a sacrum again. I'll definitely be willing to hit for a you feel blessed here. As well, we do not have any keys. No keys, unfortunately. Keep our eyes peeled. Starter deck's gonna give us a Hermit card. Not that useful. I think there was another Balls of Steel Pill in there, actually, as we do get some more Soul Hearts on the ground. Lovely. All these bombs, too, man. We just, we don't need bombs, though, right now. We need, uh... We need some other stuff. So we get an Ace of Clubs and a random little rune. So bef again, before we go in there into our devil deal, I'm trying to think, like, I, I don't think there's any other devil items that we would want. To be honest with you, like, I think we kind of want a sacrifice room. Because I'd rather hit for the You Feel Bless and get an angel deal. Unfortunately, though, I don't think we're going to get one. Yeah, no. So, no sack room on the floor. That leaves us right where we're at. We get an inverse death card. I'll go ahead and use that. And with that, folks, let's, uh... Let's make our move here on our boss. Let's see. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. We get another tears up and an HP up. Lump of coal. Lump of coal. Ah, game. Game. That would have been legendary, dude. Damn. Damn, bro. Get a dog oz rune. I'm actually going to hold on to that. It's better than the balls of steel pill. And dead end here. Let's see, guys. Does he get a sack room? Definitely would want one. We get a vault, though. Friends of the end, sure. Friends till the end. And over here is just a challenge room. All right, well. Mega Brim it is. I mean, nothing up that way. I think with a, with a vault, a curse room, and a challenge room, the odds we got a sacrifice room are... Yep. So, okay. Well then, guys. No such luck for us today with our devil deals spawning in, but the ones that we got gave us what we needed, baby. They gave us double Mega Brimstone. Crooked Penny with the 50-50 payout finally making it work. <coughs> and we do get our double deal. We, get, we need to go deeper. I'll tell you what, actually, with what we got right now, at this point, thank you, Fortune Cookie, but no thank you. We need to go deeper. It's going to be a great get for us. We're going to use it to get a crawl space on this floor right there. And we get Scapular. Two or three Seraphim. And we do have some insurance in case we do try to hit our sack room now. But I'll tell you what. I'm willing to go I'm willing to go pay Hush a little visit here. I think, you know, with Mega Brimstone, it shouldn't be that big of an issue for us. And we also have restock. So we're, we need... 
So I don't think that does much for us. It doesn't do anything. Alright, Acta will be great. Techstone, there's a big damage up for us. Or wait, no, I thought it was going to give us one. I guess it didn't. Good BFF, which I guess I'll buy. And then card reading, yes! Some good payouts from our secret room items there. And we'll take the battery here and get a hangman card. Well, it's an item. Let's look for our crawl space here. The hanged. Man. No luck in that room. Two more bombs. Damn. Well, that's... Oh, no. Nice! And I'll tell you what. We'll just get the crawl space here. We will just get the crawl space. And we get the inner eye. Oh, my God. It's a big tears down. But I'm shooting triple... Triple shot. Conjoin triple shot. Brimstone. Mega brimstone. Mega tech stone. Holy shit, guys. Insanity. Insanity this run, man. I'll tell you what. And our tears rate, like, it's not great. Or sorry, it's not it's not good, but it's not terrible. Like, with triple shot specifically, it may, our damage is getting made up for, so. Dude. The inner eye to finish it off, guys. I mean, we don't have projectile blockers, but with this range and with Brimstone in particular, you can shoot from so far back that it lets you dodge way more. We do have the intruder to slow him down. This is going to take a minute, though, I will say. But I do for four and a half all right now. I keep going until we get like a... a well, I guess, we, I guess a TP card wouldn't help us here, but... Man, this ended up being a really cool run. Still got some time. Got to make sure that we don't die. Again, this hush fight's more so on the tedious side. And I would have loved to have gotten like Pash House Candle. I would love to get a sacrifice room and get Pash House Candle. Some kind of big tears out to put us past the cap that, you know, takes away the downside of our triple shot. That'd be incredible. And damn, there's our first hit of the room. We actually need to be careful here. We haven't quite got him to half health yet. Keep it going. Shaking big time. And I'm not getting up close to get the extra brimstone shots on him because, like, to be honest, like, I, I, it's better to not get hit as I take tons and tons of damage. Shaking big time, baby. So I'm focusing on making sure to just get this done. Do not want to take damage. <laughs> want as much health as we can, especially with our devil deals coming later in the run. Like, we're still going to see our dark room devil deals. And this might be a victory lap run. I can't lie. I don't really like going on victory laps that much, but, you know, you guys let me know down in the comments if you do. Almost feels like I'm cheating a little bit, but either way, we head on down, and man, we're, we got we need to go deeper for two more uh, guaranteed. Unfortunately, we do not get. Oh my god! Yeah, we do get a sack room too. We're absolutely taking D Infinity in there. The question is, do we roll for an Archie here? I think that's a better play. And let's, uh, again, I want to charge up. We need to go deeper and use it for the crawl space at least once before we trade it out. Right there should do the trick. We're going to go take D-Infinity. Get to D6. I haven't seen D-Infinity in a minute. Let me tell you. 
And no thank you. No thanks. Get echo chamber. Again, I'm looking for an R key here. I'm not gonna lie to you. And let's get all the way to starter deck and we get a moon card. Roll through it all again. Oh boy. Okay. Till the end. Speed up. Take that speed up. Don't mind if I do. Let's keep charging up. Force them to get hit there again. Gotta be careful with our health. Take these guys forward and light them up like a Christmas tree. Dang, he survived that. Wow. Wow. Those things are obnoxiously tanky, I, I can't say. Luckily, our challenge room is open, which means we can get more charge. Again, we gotta get lucky with this hit. Not expecting to get... Not expecting to get the R key here, but, you know, hey. That would be pretty cool if you ask me. And I'll tell you what, that actually does open up the possibility for our sacrifice room. Would not be opposed as I walk. Okay, well, maybe not anymore. We get a horse gold pill? No way. No way. Holy shit, that is insane. We can get some 48 hour energies with that. Can't lie. One charge away, man. We'll, we'll, we'll be using this, let me tell you. Holy shit. Judgment card and Yeah, we'll go ahead and use that. Blow these guys up. We're gonna bomb back and we're gonna TP back to our room. The moon. Eh. Lemon party. Bomb party. Okay, we, get the, we get some big health ups there. Holy cow, this is gonna be scary for my stats. This is gonna be scary for my stats. Big tears up. Are you a wizard? Lock down. <laughs> oh god. I don't know what's gonna happen here. What in the heck? Bad trip. Okay, in case we get another bad trip, let's go ahead and pick up the rest of our health here. <laughs> so we don't die. We get a mega one makes you larger. Yep. Glad I went and grabbed those hearts because that literally would have killed us. Get perks, and that does it. Okay, well, that didn't really work out for us. I mean, hey, we can hit our sack room now. I th well, probably not, actually, because we just took so much fucking damage. We, we, pro we probably can't, but we have a hella keys now. And I think that's going to do it for our rerolls. I think we're going to have to take the one up, which is honestly fine. Like, hey, HP ups, or sorry, extra lives. Not bad. They're not bad. And yeah, we are, uh... Unless we get a battery to drop in here, fellas. We're certainly not doing this. This guy needs to open wide. Shot speed up. And I actually think we can do our sacrifice room now. First, I want to make sure that we can beat Satan. So we're going to dumpster Satan, because he's bad. Probably not a battery in here, but... Doesn't hurt to try, as we did get an I'm Excited pill, too. And let's keep it going. D-Infinity, man. Hopefully we get some value from it, even though it is late run. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, Satan, you're up, buddy. Time to get smoked. Triple shot tech stone, baby. The intruder to slow him down. It's a lot easier than Hush, I can't lie. Because we are this massive... We're literally... We kind of look like Satan. Like, Isaac kind of looks like a devil right now. And I'll tell you what, I'm willing... Actually, if we can at least fight our angel. If we get tp to our angel room here. There's the you feel blessed. Not that it really matters, though, because we're guaranteed to tp to an angel room anyway. Since the devil deal did not spawn, the sacrum will always take us to the angel deal. 
As you can see now, the explanation will be on the screen. Um, teleports the devil room instead of the door was spawned on the current floor. So yeah, 33% chance. We do get it. Now I'm at one heart, so this will be scary, but... Not really. I lied. I lied. Okay, well then. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, actually, thank you. Here's what we can do. That's not what we were hoping for. Yes, but with Eden's soul, we can take that into our secret room on the next floor. Let's see here, fellas. Can we get an angel item? Nope, we get the soul heart. I'll, I'll keep the soul heart for now. Run down here, make sure we get some more health. Uh, being a two-shot, you don't need to be. It's just silly. Right, it's just silly. You know, if you don't need to be the two shot, don't worry about it. We're gonna try to charge up Eden's soul on this next floor. Hopefully, again, hopefully we get enough charge for it. That we we definitely would hope to get enough charge for us. We have a magician card with terra cloth. Brimmy bombs. Yeah, no to all that. So let's see, we get to our secret room early. Any mushroom pedestal, but oh well. So, okay. That's great. Lemon mishap, Pog. You might as well reroll Lemon mishap. I mean, I think we'll have just enough charge to get Eden's soul charged up all the way. That's actually bad. I'm not gonna lie that I went to my secret room first. We, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to charge. Well, actually, I guess they both had to charge either way. I think it's a, a wait, no, no, yeah, it's fine. I'm an idiot. It wouldn't have made a difference. There's a battery. I'll tell you what. Let's get it there. And oh baby, Eden Soul. Give me an R key, come on. Okay, we got a chance. We got two pedestals in our secret room and plenty of rerolls available. Give me an R key game. Or an inverse judgment card. Either one would be kind of pog, I won't lie. I can assure you, we're going to roll till we get death certificate or an I, or an R key. I'd absolutely run this one back, let me tell you. Um, we can go ahead and fight the lamb here in a moment as well. We'll keep trying for our R key. So we're going to go in here, use our, our magician card, which is going to give us the Book of Belial effect too. And Oh my brimmy, that's a lot of damage. Oh my, Brimmy, that's a lot of damage. All right, well then. A little bit more charge to go. And again, we're running out of time here to get this R key. We can either get that or death certificate to run this bitch back. And unfortunately, there was no enemy in there, which is really bad. I mean, we might only have one roll left. Let's go ahead and finish this bad boy up. Okay, all right, the question is, do we want to use Eternal D6? And I think the answer to that is no. Losing, losing a pedestal would be so much more detrimental. And chaos, we definitely don't take. We're getting two looks, right? So we're, we're, we're basically guaranteeing that an, a pedestal won't get voided, right? Like, if we were to roll, like, you know, with a 30% chance that an item gets deleted and there's two pedestals, if one of those pedestals gets deleted, like, two, two rolls of Eternal D6 would be worse than D6. There also is another play we can make that I should be doing here. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this because that might give us a battery. Wheel of Fortune, which also could give us a battery, I guess, technically. I'm going to use that in there. And one last roll, fellas. It's not going to make a difference in here. Okay, well then, guys, one last reroll until we got to start Hail Marrying with our Wheel of Fortune card. Can they do it? Can they do it? They cannot. Wheel of Fortune. Uh. Oh my god, give me a battery. That's three pedestals. Oh my god. Give me a battery. Please find a way or a card or... 
Well, I mean, it was a good run, guys. That you, you can't give it any better effort than that, man. You just can't. So, hey, that was pretty cool. Thank you guys for watching this one. That was freaking dope. I will see you all next time. Peace out.